going to make sure you grab the safety glasses, and you'll notice they're numbered, that belong to your station. So when it's your turn, if you're in station one, you're going to come up, grab station one safety glasses, put them on. Now, when you come back to the tool wall, you'll notice that each tools are numbered for your station. So your station has a number, and you're going to grab the tools that belong to your station number. Now, for the scribble bot, you're going to need a few different items. You're going to need your glue gun. You're going to need your soldering iron. You're going to need your wire cutters or wire strippers and your scissors your and duct tape number two and I'm gonna go ahead and simply take these tools back to my station and set them up when I get my tools back to my station I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take the scissors the duct tape and the wire strippers and I'm gonna set them aside for a moment what I'm gonna focus on first is plugging in my soldering iron holder and my glue gun. To do that, I'm gonna go to the end of the counter or station where the power strip is, and I'm going to plug them in. Now we're going to start with the soldering iron. Both the soldering iron and the glue gun take about three to five minutes to warm up, so we wanna start by plugging them in. Now, if this was put away correctly, it should be wound up around the holder, but you'll notice I'm holding it by the handle and I'm unwinding the cord. When I get the cord unwound, you're gonna see that it pulls tight into the soldering iron holder. And I can simply pull some of that cord out and I can plug that in to the power strip. Now when I do that, there should be some lights that come on. So you should see these lights coming on and it means it's powering up and it's heating up. Now this end will heat up anywhere from about 700 to 900 degrees, depending on which point of the end you're on. At the end of class, when we're done using the soldering iron, we're gonna go ahead and carefully unplug it by pulling on the knob on the end. And once again, I'm gonna demonstrate this. We pull this tight against the wooden block. So I take that cord, I pull it tight, I then, carefully wrap the cord around the holder. So I'm demonstrating it now. I'll demonstrate it a couple more times throughout the video. But I want you to wrap it around, pulling that in tight. We're gonna go ahead and unwind it one more time here. And we're gonna plug it back in so it's heating up. But so I wanna make sure you know how to put it away and how you get it out. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the glue gun and we're gonna plug it in. Now once again, the glue gun, the cord's been wrapped around the middle here. I unwind the cord, making sure I'm careful not to touch the end because if it was being used the previous class period, it could be hot. But this part melts the glue. This one, I'm going to simply go ahead, plug in, and it will start heating up. I know the power strip's on because I saw the lights on the soldering iron. Once again, at the end of class, I unplug by pulling on the actual plug, and I wrap the cord around the middle, being careful not to touch the hot end, and then I take that and I put that away in the shelf that I got it from. But so you've seen how to get it out and how to put it away. So I shouldn't have anybody wrapping the cords up incorrectly. Now there's one other thing we need to do, and that is your soldering iron has a little sponge and it might be a little dry. If it's dry, we use this to kind of clean off the end of the soldering tip. So what we do is we take it over to the sink and we simply wet it down a little bit, squeeze out the excess water. Now if your hand's a little too wet, you could get a paper towel, but you're gonna simply take this back and put that in. Now that you have it working and you're ready to decorate, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna get some pipe cleaners and some googly eyes and whatever else you would like that's on the back table that your instructor allows you to use for decorating. So, somewhere in your room, your instructor will have pipe cleaners, googly eyes laid out and I'll explain where those are at.
Now, with the pipe cleaners, you can pick and choose whatever colors you would like. But what I want you to notice is this is a nice, clean, organized table. And if you're going to build and you decide you want some green, you'll notice there's a pipe cleaner wrapped around the middle. And you go ahead and undo that and you take out however many you think you need. Do not hoard them. You can always come back and get more. Right? But you're going to take however many green ones you think you need. When you're done, you're going to wrap that pipe cleaner back around the middle so it stays nice and neat. If you decide you need some brown, do the same thing, undo the middle, All right, untwisting it. Sometimes a little easier said than done. You're then going to pull out however many brown pipe cleaners you think you need, then you'll go ahead and wrap that back up around the middle, keeping it nice and neat. But so you're going to go ahead and you're going to get the pipe cleaners you think you need. You're also going to go ahead, and if you want some googly eyes, your constructor will have some googly eyes, and there's different sizes. But try to take however many googly eyes you think you want. Once again, trying to emphasize the neat and cleanness of it. I'm just going to grab some purple, and we'll go back and see what kind of monster I can make. But once again, you undo the middle, take the amount you think you need, wrap that pipe cleaner, around the middle, keeping the table neat and organized. Part of your classroom's grade will be what does the table look like at the end of class. Now, when you start attaching pipe cleaners, you can use hot glue to do this. You can also wrap them around and just simply twist tie them on. But so for example, if I wanted to use the brown and I wanted it to kind of be like a brown and purple afro, or brown and purple mohawk on mine, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to kind of intermix here. So I go purple, brown, purple, brown, purple, brown, purple, brown. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try to turn this into a mohawk. So I'm going to kind of bend it down, bend it out. Right, what might end up happening is you might twist some of this together down at the bottom. And I'm going to make a connection that I can simply glue on back there behind my motor. So once again, just like before, you move over to the glue stick. You're going to put a little bit of hot glue on your pipe cleaners. You're going to push them down where you want them. Right, once again, taking about 20, 30 seconds to dry. Then once you get them in place, you can kind of bend them around a little bit more, right? And I can spread out my mohawk, right? Creating my mohawk to kind of help cover up my wires a little bit. And depending on which side you decide your front, which side you decide your back, if I wanted to kind of turn my mohawk the other way I could, right? But it gives you the ability to bend them around and put them on. But you're going to go through and you're going to decorate your robot however you deem you want it to be. So I'm going to go ahead and put some googly eyes on here. Alright, you might decide you want multiple googly eyes. If you decide you don't need as many as you grabbed, don't just throw them on the ground. Put them back in the container where you got them from. Now if you want, you're more than welcome to cut the pipe cleaners as well. All right, so if you decided you wanted a shorter one, like how I grabbed that shorter green one, you could. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give this guy a green mustache. So I'm going to twist some pipe cleaners together. 
then I'm gonna cut the other end open all right so that way they're not all separated I'm gonna come over to the glue gun put a little bit of glue down here I'm gonna stick my green mustache on the middle you can always come back to and put a little glue around the sides if you need to but I'm gonna give him a handlebar mustache All right, and like I said, if you don't end up using all of your pipe cleaners, you can put them back. If they're little scraps though and you don't think anybody would want them, you can throw those out. But you're gonna go ahead and you're just gonna simply work on decorating and building your robot, making it as cool and funky as you can, and yes, you do get graded on your effort on decorating, so I want you to attempt to be some kind of artist of some kind and create some kind of funky creature. All right, you're not just simply not decorate them. So you do get more points and bonus points for decorating them, okay? But you're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put in a funky unibrow. And you're gonna simply do the same process decorating and building your robot okay but so that's all there is to decorating and building your robot you're gonna go ahead and create whatever kind of monstrosity you want to create when you're all said and done building your robot you're gonna go ahead bring it up to your instructor so they may grade it but as you can see, I have a very funky unibrowed robot once I let that dry for 20 to 30 seconds. Once you have it all put together, decorated, you can check with your instructor. They'll give you batteries and you can put it on. You can put the batteries in, you can give it a test. We'll get some big pieces of paper like I showed in the earlier group and you will start testing your robot, making drawings that you can hang on your fridge at home or one big class picture. But once again, when you're all said and done, Make sure your tools, soldering iron, all get put away. Once again, remember, you're going to unplug the soldering iron. You're gonna pull that cord tight. You're gonna wrap the cord around the holding station. You're gonna take your glue gun You're gonna unplug it. You're gonna wrap it around the middle, just like you did before. And you're gonna put those away, but so don't forget to put all of your stuff away when you're all said and done. When your Scribblebot is all done and graded, your instructor will give you some batteries. And if you wanna make a drawing to take home, there should be some larger pieces of paper. You can go ahead and get one of those. But what you're going to do is you're going to carefully put your batteries in, once again, making sure you pay attention to where the positive goes and the negative goes. Then you can always give it a double check. Make sure it turns on. You'll notice it sounds a lot more powerful when you have brand new batteries and it goes much quicker. Now, when you go to do your drawing, I would prefer that you go to the ground just so that this doesn't accidentally go off the table and break and then you have to spend a bunch of time fixing it. So you're going to take your piece of paper and your robot and you're going to move it to the ground. Now when you're down on the ground, you're going to go ahead and you're going to take off your markers, making sure you keep track of your caps, remembering that you do have markers now and that you don't accidentally draw it all over you. But you're going to go ahead and set it down on the piece of paper and you want to kind of guide it because it's going to want to go wherever it wants to go. So you simply turn it on and you can kind of help push it in, letting it dribble around. Once again, remembering that you tend to go for about 30 to 40 seconds. All right, you can always pick it up, move it if you want it in a new spot. But you're going to simply let it keep going around on your piece of paper. If you knock it over, stand it back up, All right? And we'll eventually do a big class version 
but after about 30 seconds, you're going to turn it off. Go ahead and carefully put your markers back on if you're done with your drawing. All right, if you want to give it a little more time after rest and put a little more down on your drawing, you can. But you're going to put your caps on, and if you've paid your lab fee and your instructor's graded it, you'll go ahead and you'll take this home. All right, you can also take your nice pretty artwork, sign it if you want, take it home and show your parents, have it put up, up on the fridge.